Hi, welcome to another video tutorial about build your own ISO. Uh, we have already a little menu here available in arcolinuxwebsite.com. Build your own ISO. And what's the intention? The intention is to give you the freedom to make your own Arco Linux and Arco Linux is Arch, AWAR and Arco Linux packages. Now we are working in phase four, uh, build your own ISO on Arco Linux or Arco Linux D. So you know that there are two kind of ISOs, one is with a D and the other one is not. So one is two gigabyte, other one is one gigabyte. It's all explained here. The same applies to this here. If you go to the GitHub, Arco Linux, you have here the Arco Linux GitHub and you have the D in the end, which is then the repositories for all the scripts to install XFCE, to install Openbox and so on on Arco Linux D. Now, this tutorial is about, um, well, let's, let's first go in here and check out the build your own ISO menu. What have we created already? We have told uh, the vision, well, general idea of the build your own ISO. More information in this video. And then we've said, okay, let's build your own ISO on Arco Linux but no changes made. So whatever we find on here, we build it, we have an ISO, we burn it, and we have an operating system. Now, the, the third or the second, and in this case, I think in my feeling it's the second one, what you do now is say, okay, let's make a new ISO, an Arco Linux ISO, but this time let's change things, okay? So let's really go into detail and say, I don't want Firefox as browser. I don't want LibreOffice. I don't want GIMP. I don't want Inkscape. And I do want Steam, for instance. So that's the exercise of today in this video. Make Arco Linux ISO, copy the URL over. So this is the URL, it's copied. And that's all you need to do. Go there, copy it, and now navigate to your own system. You go to maybe a folder Arco Linux and inside there you say I'm gonna clone a thing from online. Control Shift V. So the Arco Linux ISO has been cloned. It's on your system, it's only 8 megabytes big and with this 8 megabytes and all the rest of the pieces of the puzzle you're gonna make a 2 gigabyte ISO. So Again, I think it's important to um, show you this again here. What we're gonna do with starting off with eight megabytes, we're going to end with 2.2 gigabytes. We're gonna get stuff from Arch, stuff from AUR and Arco Linux. That's this. We're gonna get pieces of the puzzle from all these GitHubs. That's what's going to happen in the back end. Do you need to know it? No, you don't need to know it. Okay, but just general explanation what's going to happen. You go inside installation script, right mouse click, open terminal here, and you put it here. The only thing we need to run in a few minutes time is number 30. But then we did not change anything. So in this video, we want to change things. We go into Arch ISO, we go into packages both, and we're going to analyze what's in here. Now this is the list, well, the pieces of the puzzle that's going to go on the ISO, that's going to go in your system. So what can you change? Well, first of all, keep off from the Arch ISO. So all of these are not created by me. It's from the package Arch ISO and they say, this is what you need. Then we're going to need XORG, so keep off here as well. We're gonna keep, keep off from video as well, although we could change already things here to say I don't have um, open Chrome, I don't need AT and so on. We could already change things here, but let's just stick to the applications. Now we scroll and scroll and scroll till we go to the elements that we uh, will not have problems with at all. It's just a, a application or um, something like that. So this one. 
217, that's where I would suggest you start for this test. You say, Chromium, I don't want you anymore. Control S, save. Dark table, well, I don't need dark table. It's for video management, if I'm not video, image management. Um, I don't want it. Evolution, don't care about a mail client because everything is online for me. Firefox, I'll have to keep something up. So Chromium is here, Firefox is there. So I ha still have Vivaldi. So okay, save. No Firefox. Genie, don't want Genie, I want, and so on. And this is how you proceed. But what happens, for instance, what, what, there's already a domino falling in my head. Genie has links in Openbox. So if you say, Genie, don't install Genie, well, some of the things will not work in Openbox. Okay, so there's a consequence of what you do. But, okay, if you say, I don't care, Openbox, I don't care. Things will break in the sense of keyboard shortcuts and all that menus. So no GIMP, no Inkscape. Inkscape is super F3. That will break if you don't install it. But hey, it's a choice. You don't want Melt. Melt is not installed. Praga, okay, like the, the music player, but Zoom. <coughs> Zoom is out. Maybe you don't like the Cantrell fonts. Just picking here some of the elements to show you how you shall should proceed. Now, I'm keeping off the open box in XFC and i3 th things, so I'm keeping the three desktops. So that's for another tutorial. Say I just want XFC or just want open box or just want i3. That's for another tutorial. This is just saying, hey, mm, don't like the C matrix thing, so then the cool retro stuff. Don't like that either, and that's how you scroll over it and say FileZilla, not my thing. So FTP and the GNOME software. I'll just install whatever I want. Ristretto maybe shot well. It's just a choice. I'm just doing an exercise and seeing how many gigabytes we can uh, save by doing this. So Vivaldi, I have at least one browser. That's the one. If you want less icons, you can do so. Just created an ISO already without Sardi and Surfin, which gives a results in a very ugly ISO because everything is built uh, standard with Sardi and Surfin. So best is to keep those in. To have a nice uh, life ISO. Well, if you don't like temps, let's delete one more. So, I would suggest you keep all these uh, available. So, don't hashtag them out. Arch Linux for now until you know what's in there. Um, but let's add us also something. Say you want to add Steam. So you go scroll up, you say, okay, Steam, 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 Steam. Is that the utility? No, really a utility. It's more an application, so applications, okay. Let's add Steam in here. Now you need to know what the name is. So Control Alt T, sudo pacman minus S, Steam. Okay. Okay. Let's let's do that again, like so. You need to have these two, Steam and Steam Native Runtime. No typos allowed. So um, this is what I need. Control Shift C copy. Steam Native Runtime. Save. So now I have made the decision, not only to delete stuff. I want also LibreOffice out of here because that's a big one. It's a big chunk and I never use it. Okay, so LibreOffice is out. And we have two things, well, actually just one thing in, but we need the native runtime, the 32 bits, the libraries and all that to be able to play Steam. So what we're doing is we're making an Arco Linux version, ISO, 
getting rid of stuff we don't want, adding stuff in that we do want, and that's it. If we have saved that, then it's up to us now to run number 30, and we're off. So it's the same procedure always, run number 30, and then it's going to ask, delete the cache, yes. Remove all other packages from cache, yes. Remove unused repositories. <coughs> and now it's the time to do th two things. You just watch and observe what's going to happen, or you just walk away. And in the end, you should have an ISO. Now, sometimes uh, the GitHubs get a little bit lazy or there's the latency or whatever, so that it's not fast enough. Then you need to run it again uh, in the hope that all GitHubs respond quickly enough. And then you have this ISO. Let's uh, put here a pause on the video to make it a bit smaller. At this point in time, everything has, uh, the scripts have run and we are actually making the ISO now, creating the ISO. If you see this, everything is going to be uh, written to a ISO, that's your CPU. Depending if you run our script there, 0, 0, 0, to use all the cores, then <coughs> your CPU is going all the way up, as you can see here in this conky. And of course your PC is going to heat up and your fans are going to kick in to cool it down. But that's what we want. We want to have a fast, as fast as possible. Uh, we want an ISO and that's what it's going to do. And then we are going to pause to wait for this to happen. And there we go. We have um, lift off, I would like to say, but we have created an ISO. It's 1.8 gigabytes, so four uh, less from 2.2 to 1.8 and uh, we've omitted a lot of things, uh, Inkscape, uh, Gimp and all that and we've added also Steam. So what happens, what, what should we do now? Well, now we should test it. So VirtualBox is the best way to do it, Super F7 and then we load up. There are other tutorials how to set VirtualBox up and everything. But everything is already set up here. So I'm going to choose my personally created ISO. You navigate to your home directory. You go to look for Arca Linux build. You go in Arch ISO in out. And this is your personal build. So 1.79 gigabytes. All right. And then you test it out and you say, is this what I want? Do I need to delete more stuff? Do I need to add more stuff? As always, we're going to boot. <coughs> there are even less icons here than normal, I guess. Uh, Inkscape is not there, GIMP is not there, so it's smaller. The plank, that's, that's much is obvious. And then, of course, I do not need to tell you how to install uh, Arch Linux. So let's go quickly over to the settings here. So a keyboard for Belgium, erase disk, next. So, that has become a routine. And there you go. So we have now our own Arco Linux version. It's not the standard one from SourceForge anymore. But we do not have LibreOffice. But we do have a button here called Games, Steam and Native and Runtime. That's new. Uh, in graphics, we do not have GIMP. GIMP has been deleted or not installed and Inkscape is still there, Peak is still there. So you can decide what elements you want to have in your system and what elements you do not want to have. Just one browser, Firefox, Chromium are out. So these decisions are just up to you, what you want to install on your system and what not. What not. We give you an Arco Linux to complete freedom now to install whatever you want on your system and make a personal ISO the way you see fit. And um, I think that's a big, 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 big advantage that you can now build whatever uh, ISO based on Arco Linux 
or Arcline XD we will come later and you can decide what to install yourself or uh, uninstall let's wait for this installation we're almost at the end ready to restart and check out our system so we take number two because line two is actually booting from the hard disk and then we can test out if for instance steam works So I we'll never know what to choose between one of these two, native or runtime. I don't know, but at some point in time you'll see that it works. It's going to update Steam, fine. In the meantime, let's take a look around. So everything is of course similar. Eh? Arch Linux Hello is here, preferred. The Conky Zen, does the con do the Conkeys work? And what else? Accessories. A lot of things have been deleted. You see this blue thing that's not nice. You know what the drill is. Unless you have uninstalled it. If you hashtag it out, it will not be here. But it's not. So run hard code fixer. And here it is HP lib. The icon is again by the software engineers. They made it uh, oh that should be oh yeah we should update to the latest uh, sardi icons and then deconf editor is nice as well so there will be a pop-up here telling hey there is an update at some point in time there you go steam is unpacking steam runtime and ta -da! now we have to log in and all that but that's um that's what we're not going to log in, of course. Graphics peak is there. Internet uh, transmission. So Vivaldi, we've just chosen to have one browser, Vivaldi. That's it. I could get rid of this, for instance. If you never burn a CD like I do, you can get rid of that. We have no more. LibreOffice, that's out. So all the information is, um, so like I said, the deconf editor is question of, um, well, you see Steamworks, question of updating. So you know what the drill is. And here it is. So I made a new icon for the deconf editor. They've renamed it again, uh, Orc, I don't know very strange name anyway an, an org.gnome thing is uh, renamed if you update everything then this icon of um, deconf editor will be nice as well not this one okay so there you go we have now your own system you've uh, created an, an iso yourself based on arco linux and now we can have fun and learn more because that's always our intention well uh, to learn but also course to, to just have fun with your system. Alright, cheers.